Good day. In this video, we're going to look at a typical question about angles on a Cartesian plane. It can come at you in different ways, but there's a straightforward one. It says, if P, X and minus 5 is a point on a third quadrant and R is 13, calculate without the use of a calculator the value of, and then they ask you to work out the value of X, cos theta, 6 squared theta minus 10 squared theta. Let's just forget this for a minute and put this information onto this Cartesian plane. The first thing we do is we take this information and put it onto the Cartesian plane. So firstly, they said P over here, which says X and Y, is going to be X and minus 5. So it means my Y value here will be minus 5. So this dot is a level where Y is minus 5. We sometimes even write it on the side here just to remember where it comes. X, we don't know what it is. They told us it's X, and then they told us the radius is 13. I wrote it in. So in other words, we now have a triangle. And we can use Pythagoras to sort out. Remember that although this theta is lying over here, we stand right here to see the opposite, the adjacent, the hypotenuse, or the X, the Y, and the R. What I did now is I redrew this drawing for myself. In the third quadrant, I put in my 13, I put in my minus 5, and then we had to work out x. I already wrote the answer here, but we'll see now how we're going to go about it. So the first thing they asked us to work out here was x. In other words, we want to find out how long that line is, what the value of x at this point will be down here. So what we do is we use Pythagoras. I always use this method where you say long square equals short square plus short square. The official mathematical way of writing it is r squared equals to x squared plus y squared. I know that on any right angle triangle, this will be my longest side, my hypotenuse. This will be one of my short sides, and that will be my other short side. So I'm going to put this guy squared plus this guy squared equals this guy squared. So we wrote the 13 over here at the radius, or the long one. Put the minus 5 over there, and get the x that we don't have over here. Now we can just solve a normal equation. This is 169 equals x squared plus 25. We bring the 25 over and minus it. Then we square root both sides. So x equals plus or minus 12. We must always remember to write this plus or minus 12 and then decide which one or both we're going to use. And then we use x equals to minus 12 because we are on this side where x is negative. Please remember that on the Cartesian plane, this is where x is negative, everywhere on this side, and on this side x is positive. I'm saying again, this is where x is naught, x is negative on this side on the Cartesian plane, that's why I chose the minus 12, and on this side x will be positive, we're not there now. And remember that y is positive up here, everywhere up to the x-axis up here, y is positive, and down here y is negative, that's why we have a negative 5 right here. Now, to answer the final two questions, I need to understand that this Sokatua that we have to learn, that sine is O over H, cos is A over H, and tan is O over A. To do this cos theta just now, I need to know that cos is A over H or X over R, all depends which one you want to use. Sec is going to be H over A or R over X, and tan is going to be O over A or Y over X, all depends on which one you want to use. So we need to know these ratios, and we're going to pull this information out of this sketch now. Like we said, the first one we're going to work out is cos theta. So there's my theta. Cos is A over H. So if I stand over here, it's my adjacent over my hypotenuse. My adjacent will be minus 12, and my hypotenuse is 13. And that is then my final answer. In this section, the teachers mainly like it if we put rather X over R. So we have to learn that cos is x is the guy next to me and r is the radius over here. But that's open for discussion. The next one we had to work out was 6 squared theta minus tan squared theta. Uh, I told you that you're going to get your sec over here, so I wrote these ratios. I wrote here, and then the tan's ratios I got from there, and I wrote it over here. You'd never do it like I do it. You either put r over x or h over a. Both will be accepted. And then you just fill in the numbers from your Cartesian plane. We're going to work with this radius and this x. In other words, this 
sec square theta will be r over x, r being the 13 and the x being the minus 12. So I wrote it in here with the sign, remember that, and then your square. Then the tan was y over x. If I go in here, y is my minus 5 over there, and the x is the minus 12. That's where I got these from. Then we first work out inside the bracket, if it's possible, and then we square these two brackets separately. Then this bracket squared will give me 169 over 144, minus 25 over 144. It's important that in this section, although they say you're not allowed to use a calculator, that you use a calculator where you need to, but not to work out the whole sum with a calculator. If you still got trouble with your multiplication tables, you go 13 times 13 on the calculator, write it, 12, minus 12 times minus 12, write it. They won't even know you're doing it. So it's not a cheat, it's helping you with your calculations. And the final answer is 1.